That's a big anemone. Yes, yeah, it nice is. big ectena stolid anemone. And those get, those ones get really large. You can get like dinner plate sized ones. Wow, but that's enormous. Oh, like Nautilus dinner oh. plate sized? Because yeah. those are some yeah. hefty yep. plates. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> 30 to 40 centimeters across. Wow. You gotta, so you gotta wait. Going back in. Move on. We're moving. I'm loving the colors. Right. It's like a red sunflower. Oh, the thing inside the anemone, those are uh, uh, polychaetes. They're polynoids. Polynoids. Yeah, no, how can they hang out right around the mouth of the anemone? They, that's we what they do. I don't know. Right under the fish. If you zoom out, Amber, there's a eel <coughs> coming through. Oh, hey. Oh. Coming through. Hello, little eel friend. Yep. <laughs> Cutthroat eel. Yeah, the uh, the skill worms. We we see that association with this anemone quite frequently. This yeah. is kind of wild. Anything yeah, it's possible. like growing out of it. They have a pedal disc, which is the foot. Usually it's circular. They wrap it around. Oh, OK. And so that's what that's what you're looking at, is the, the seam of the pedal disc. Gotcha. I think horror movies should be basing more of their creatures off of like deep, deep sea stuff. Right? Agreed. We need less like sharks. <laughs> yeah. We need more invertebrate horror movies. Yeah. Or, like I the could fly just, trap, like I mean, wrap as they are, I could just see uh, crinoids without the spikes just being very tickly, which is also a form of torture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is an Actinus scyphia. It's a type of anemone that oh. tends to always grow on stalks. So it grows on, this is a old sponge stalk. And as we zoom in, you can kind of see how the uh, spicules, the fibers are all twisted together. Yes. Yeah. And that's what the inside of Herc's tether looks like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look anything like that. And then there's also a cool little one. isopod that's uh, hanging sitting out. Sitting in it, right? The little white thing, yeah. That's a little oh. isopod, which is related to uh, pill bugs or roly polies. Oh. oh, that's cool. It's wearing very, a little hat. Very Venus flytrap. I think we should be like basing fashion off of more sea creatures. I agree. This looks like it's wearing a bow and it's yeah. It's like so posed. Uh -huh. It's very little shop of horrors. It is, totally. Anyone know the name of the plant? Little Shop of Horrors? Somebody in the chat's gotta know. Yeah, gotta send know. it in if this you know. This is your moment. <laughs> what do these anemones eat? You. <laughs> Small crustaceans. Small crustaceans. Yeah. I'm not getting anywhere near those things. <laughs> I wouldn't want to put be. my finger in there. No. Yeah. Oh, there's a homolid. Yeah, he's in. got his, he's got his uh, backpack. Yeah, anemone oh, backpack. Oh, his is an anemone backpack. Yeah. The hottest new thing this year, anemone backpacks. <laughs> so you might be able to see there the, the rearmost appendages are are, are modified to hang onto yeah. this backpack. And they just carry it around with them. This is a big one. Yeah, yeah they get bigger. Pump. 